is it INFJ to know something before people say it and play dumb so they can speak? Yes, I believe that it definitely is. Uh, most INFJs are very smart and we're very quick about the way that our mind works. We think very quickly. I was talking before about noticing patterns in people. Um, we also, you know, have this very powerful intuition. And so we know what's going to happen, right? We can predict what people are going to say. And the more that we know them, the more that we can predict what they're going to say. Some people, it takes them a while to put their thoughts together. Some people just have this habit of pausing when they speak. It's one of the things that drives me insane about people. <laughs> it's one of my own personal pet peeves, but it's also one of the ways that I like to practice patience with people. <laughs> um, um, my dad does it too. Like he'll start a sentence and he'll pause for a few minutes. Sometimes it seems like a few minutes. It's probably not a few minutes, but he'll pause. It's like he's trying to put his words together or he's trying to think through something while he's talking about it. And I already know what he's going to say. And so in the past, I would like rush him through the thinking process and finish his sentence and then keep talking about what I was talking about. But I've learned to be a lot more patient because what I think he's going to say isn't always what he's going to say. So generally, I try to be more understanding of people. I try to understand, especially in those moments where you're being impatient and you want to keep going. I try to think about the fact that not everybody thinks as fast as we do. Not everybody can put things together as quickly as we do. It's part of our intuition that we connect dots to different information. And so, and we do it very quickly. And so it's easy for us to come to a conclusion really quickly. And it's not always that easy for other people. Um, I think I have more understanding of this too, because it's happened to me more <laughs> where sometimes I lose my train of thought and that's like really bad. Um, other times it's more like I'm trying to figure out the right way to say something. And so I pause, like, you know, I know I want to say something that's super straightforward, but I'm trying to figure out how to say it where it's not so cutting. So I think, you know, that's one of those things that comes from being a little bit older too. You start to, to have more understanding for other people and you start to be more patient with them because you've been in those situations before. Learn more about your INFJ personality on my podcast, The Quiet Ones. The Quiet Ones is a weekly show where we dive into understanding self-love, depression, anxiety, and so much more from an INFJ perspective. I offer up in-depth coaching and unmatched empathy. Join me for an amazing personal growth experience. The Quiet Ones podcast is available on all major podcast platforms and at thequietonespodcast.com. Hi there. I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm working very hard to produce content that will help you. And I really, really appreciate your support. Also, if you want some more inspiration, check out this video right here.